My name is Neil McDonald Hickok, and I am descended from none other than James Butler Hickok, or as many of you may have known him, Wild Bill Hickok. I am the Green Party candidate for Orange County Sheriff. Petty crime is petty crime, but what about unbridled and corporate and environmental crime? Who will protect us from the environmental terrorists that pollute our air, our water, on a daily basis, and who scam millions and millions of your tax dollars by elaborate corporate welfare scams? Who will protect us from corrupt government officials who facilitated a gallon of water costs more than a gallon of gasoline in Orange County? How many of the petty criminals behind bars in the Orange County Jail do you suppose polluted your water? to the degree that you can't even drink it in many places, and your air to the degree that ozone alerts have become a common occurrence. How is it that the really big criminals always seem to get away? There are a whole host of laws designed to protect animals, people, and the environment, and yet most go unenforced. If elected, I will enforce them comprehensively, while the government says that they will protect you from terrorists. Who will protect you from the government? And a run amok Patriot Act police state that might deprive you of your constitutional rights under the guise of homeland security. Stranger things have happened. If elected, I will endeavor to serve to protect the people from any entity that might operate so as to deprive them of their rights under the law. I understand that no legislative enact enactment by the state legislature or Congress, nor judicial ruling by state or federal courts can operate so as to deprive the people of our rights at law. I, I believe and will, if you like, to protect the people's right to due process. I believe that no person is bound to obey an unconstitutional law and that no police agency or court is bound to enforce it. The people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow those who would pervert the Constitution. If elected, I will resist the corporate conceived government enforced marijuana and hemp laws and the Rockefeller drug laws. Let's face it, the drug war is nothing more than ethnic cleansing American style. Why is it that Orange County's communities of color seem to be singled out in terms of drug enforcement when we all know all too well that white folks consume just as much, if not more, of the drug supply? Our state already has one of the most racially imbalanced prisons populations in the United States. New York State's own studies concluded that African Americans and Hispanic defendants receive harsher sentences than similarly situated white defendants. American, African Americans and other ethnic minorities make up nearly 90% of state prisoners. If elected, I will crack down on racial profiling and kangaroo cash register courts. I will obey and uphold the Constitution. My candidacy is guided by the principle that the legitimate function of government is to protect the freedoms and the rights of all the people. Family, friends, clergy, attorneys, etc., who visit and or correspond with prisoners of the Orange County Jail are not criminals and must be treated with the utmost respect and dignity, as should the prisoners and COs. If the County of Orange is unable to hold up its end of the bargain by guaranteeing the safety and welfare of all persons who enter the Orange County Jail, then I say, shut the jail down. If I am elected, you're the boss. It's your badge. I ain't no cop. I'm a people. I ain't for sale. I'm for the people, not for profit. Remember, if you want to take back your lives, your health, your water, your air, your government, and the future, vote green in November. Want to help drive the green wedge? Give a call at 845-294-1065. They already know who you are, so you might as well get louder and louder and louder. I'm serious.